Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shind of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you the daily vlog outside of 7-Eleven on Monday, September 21st, as the wifey need to go get some drugs and some stuff for tonight. So with that said, I farmed a little over 4 million in the Crystal Trove and ended up ranking about 2,700, which shows that if you want that full five star, you're probably gonna need to put up like 10 to 20 million points. And I wouldn't be surprised if there are people that actually put that much up in the arena. Now, after this daily vlog goes up, I'm gonna be going through some highlights. I wanna highlight the Robbie One Kenobi Hollywood Shono Steel Cage match. And I also wanna highlight my beautiful kill that my six star Corvus Glaive got against Infinity War Iron Man in the Summoner show up third week. Captain Marvel I had to revive once but I just spammed heavies with Warlock and beat her down so she couldn't do any incinerate. And I think if I would have tried it again, I probably would have been able to win it with all my characters. Corvus got incinerated. Warlock, as long as I kept the bleed up, did not get incinerated. So Warlock was okay for that. Now, with that said, we're going to be playing some WWE 2K Battlegrounds for the next three days. And then for three days, I'm going to be doing Marvel Contest of Champions as Apocalypse enters the arena. Hopefully I can get about 20 million points. I do have two more five stars to open up. And I do have over 22,000 five star shards. And I'm gonna be saving them, including the six stars, until October 1st. We're gonna see how much we can compile before we get our next six star. Now I do still have 756 star shards to get in epic difficulty. I gobbled up all 5,000 in legendary difficulty. But if we get Awakenings on five stars, that's some more six star shards. And I'm probably gonna light grind arena. I'm not gonna heavily grind it, but I probably am gonna get the milestones in the four star featured in the four star basic arena because I do wanna get the 270 units. The two and three star unit arenas I might do, but I am gonna be walking with Beth on Wednesday and Thursday as I talked about in the previous daily vlogs. Wednesday, we might even take a walk up to AT&T again as there's a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. Basically, if the Tab S7 does not ship before Wednesday, the 12.4 inch or whatever it is, I'll probably just get the 11 inch with 5G or LTE. Maybe I can pop my other SIM card in it and not have to pay extra $10 a month or whatever. But I've always liked the tablet with internet, and I've been an Android fan, so that's why I'm going to decide to get the 11-inch version. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I saw the screen in AT&T yesterday, and the screen was nice. I definitely had no complaints about the screen. And 11 inches is good. I've had 12.9-inch tablets, and they do hurt your hands after a while. And other than the screen, I think the 11-inch is good enough. I don't know why they cheap mountain materials. A big middle finger to AT&T, however, for not offering the bigger model. Yes, it will save me $200, but I think that they should have carried the 12.4-inch model. They're the only major carrier that did not. They were also really late to getting the Tab S6, if they even got it. I think they just got the Tab S6 Lite. So I don't understand why AT&T is kind of not carrying certain tablets of Android. They carry all the iPads just fine. But it's kind of annoying. Now, if I get the tablet from AT&T, I probably will just end up getting an OtterBox case, although the keyboard cover is nice because if I use it for typing, although I heard the 11 inch is cramped, and I think if I get the 11 inch, I'll probably just end up getting an OtterBox. But the 12.4 inch actually has function keys and I've used the Surface Pro 7 keyboard, which is 12.4 inches as well, and the keyboard is nice. So I'm gonna give Samsung two days to actually ship the tablet. I know that the AT&T person said call back Tuesday to reserve a tablet. We'll see. If they ship it by Wednesday, I'll call and reserve one. And I know that they said the tablets actually come in stock on Tuesday. So we'll have to see if we actually go about getting one. Now regarding WWE 2K Battlegrounds, I will be streaming it on Twitch tomorrow. I think that when Apocalypse comes to the arena, I'm going to stream on both YouTube and Twitch because I know some people don't like using Twitch. And I don't think it dilutes my audience that much. I think that people like having a choice where to watch. Like I know Tony Leslie does not like watching on Twitch. 
because there aren't like set resolutions. I know KISP also prefers YouTube over Twitch. So I'm diluting my audience a little bit by not doing that. And there is a strange young lady coming down Hi. the road. Have we met before? You look nope. familiar. You've never seen me before. No. Nope. So what did you get from 7-Eleven, wifey? Uh, two waters and a tea. Two waters and a tea. She's got her drink for the day as she's dropping it on the ground there. So with that said, I'd like to thank everybody who has been enjoying the daily vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the format for yesterday because it's the same format that we're going to be using on Wednesday and Thursday as we go for a nature walk. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning in as I'm working on transitioning away from injustice. I know that annoys some of you guys, but I really don't care. Thank you for watching this daily vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. She will see you all on Wednesday. Yep. Make sure that you practice some rough sex. <laughs> Put it in the hole just like the key in the ignition. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Call Steven P. show for two still to the rest <laughs>